Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Hamza. I quickly wanted to go over my Robinhood portfolio for today. I did add a couple of positions earlier today and I'm going to go over them really quickly. So the first position I added for today was BTBT. I added calls that are expiring in August of 2021. So I have a couple of months for those. I think the stock is going to run. And we had a golden unicorn moment, which means we had somebody buy over a million, uh, million dollars worth of calls earlier today. And usually when that happens, these stocks tend to run. So I'm just holding on to this call. It is a naked call. It's not a swing call. So I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit and see how that pans out. And if it pans out well, I'm going to share that information with you guys. Well, of course, I'm going to be sharing it because I do all these lives every single day. And remember, guys, if you guys are enjoying my content and getting value from it, please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you guys get notified the next time I post something right here on YouTube. Now, with that being said, let me get back to my position. So I also added Neo calls last Friday, if you guys remember, which did turn positive today. Now that positive, so you guys can see here, it's between $490 to $500. That was about $1,100 when I woke up earlier this morning. So as you can see, um, if you go back to the earlier portion of today, you will notice that I was at an high and that was all due to my NEO calls. And then it ended up dropping. But I think this is good resistance for me. I think this is the low point of where these calls are going to be at. And if they drop a little more, I will consider buying some more NEO calls. And I really think this is one of those stocks that is going to run. Okay, now that the calls are over, let me talk to you guys about something crazy that happened earlier today that I noticed for the first time. So Ethereum is something that I've been talking about. It's a part, it's a big part of my portfolio. And Ethereum this morning just had a crazy run. As you guys can see, I'm about roughly around $5,200 on Ethereum. I plan on holding this, of course. And I think it's still going to continue to go higher. As we see Ethereum 2.0 getting ready to hit the market. The run has just been so insane that I actually think that Ethereum has had a stronger run than Bitcoin in my portfolio, at least. You guys will notice that I did add two more shares over here. I added FSR and CCIV. CCIV has been something that a lot of YouTubers have been talking about. I am going to cover CCIV in a later video, either today or maybe even later tomorrow, because I really think this company has potential and if that merger takes place i think this stock is just going to get ready to run i don't plan on keeping cciv as a big part of my portfolio however i do plan on holding it long term quick disclaimer before i go any further i'm just a guy on youtube you don't have to buy these shares but just because i do do your own due diligence and only invest money that you are willing to lose in the markets okay with that being said really quick um, I am up roughly around 2% for the day, but the indexes are relatively green. So I'm not really up with the index. So I think the market is outpacing me as of today. And I'm up roughly around 7.28% for the week, which is good. I think that's a good gain. I, I made some good money this week. Now, one thing that I'm really excited about and I want to talk about right here is that I am almost at $100,000 in my mini portfolio. So I'm really excited to hit that $100,000 mark with you guys and share all this knowledge that I have. So like I said, it's absolutely free information. Consider subscribing if you guys are liking what you see and if you guys think that you can make money just like this. I really think that I am going to hit $100,000 very soon. Like in the next week or two, I should be at $100,000. Just based on how much momentum and traction my current account has had over the past few weeks. I mean, if you guys look at my monthly gains, that is not bad either. I don't know why it keeps showing this thing over here. And I'm assuming this is why it takes the, it's, the gain is not that large. But if you look at my three months gains, you can see here that I have 23% of gains. And that is largely because of the calls that I have bought. So my options are the bulk of the growth of this portfolio. With that being said, my name is Hamza and I'll see you guys next video.